Welcome back to the channel of Coach and Rethic. Summer is finished. The new league season will start soon. Today we come back to the pink Sunday. If a new player comes to me and asks me to correct his technique. So what is my first lesson that I can give him? Or which part of his technique that I will look at first? For me, the first thing I want to correct is does he hold the racket correctly? This is the first lesson that every new player should know. I will look at his hand and the grip first. Having a correct grip is crucial in table tennis. It lets you feel the ball and perform the technique properly. If the coach didn't correct the grip at the beginning, the bad grip will become the bad habit and it is very difficult to correct it later. Unfortunately, I still see many new players who don't know how to hold the racket correctly. Holding the racket is like the ABC lesson. It is the base, the fundamental of your technique. If you don't know how to hold the bat correctly, like the player in this video, no need to train furthermore. It is like a waste of time. I also asked some coaches in fans, if I show you a hand of a player without watching him playing, can you guess his playing style? Backhand dominance or forehand dominance player? But they say no or not interested in my question. An experienced coach just need to see the hand colors and can tell you if you have a good grip or not. He also can guess that if you are a forehand or backhand dominant player. The hand calluses are the dead, hardened skins on your hand. The calluses are formed at the place that you apply the pressure. So it is like the fingerprints of your playing style. The good players will have the similar calluses. So if you come to me, my first question is, show me your hand. Show me how you hold the racket. Look at your playing hand. I will explain it right now. This is my hand. Now let's see what is the calluses pattern on the correct grip. You can clearly see the calluses. There are three calluses on the bottom of the little finger, ring finger, and middle finger. And there is also the colors on the side of my little finger. So these calluses are called the holding calluses. They are formed because you hold the handle of the racket. So every player should have this same calluses position. But look, I don't have the colors on the bottom of my index finger. But if you have a colors here, that means you have a bad grip or you don't know how to hold the racket. I guess that if you can see the hand of Ma Long or Zhang Zikou, they won't have the colors on the index finger neither. Now let's see the pressure calluses. Turn back your hand and look at your thumb. You should see one or two calluses on your thumb. These calluses are formed because you apply the pressure while doing the stroke. These calluses are the fingerprints of your playing style. If you have a big colors on the base of your thumb, you are the forehand dominant players. But if you have a bigger colors on the side of your thumb, you are the backhand dominant player. So only by seeing my hand calluses, I can conclude that I'm a forehand player who prefer using my forehand to attack. How did I know that? I have explained the correct grip in the previous video. You must have a loosened grip and you should apply the pressure only at the moment you hit the ball. If you ask another Chinese coaches, they always say this same principle. For the backhand stroke, you apply the pressure on the side of the thumb like this. So you must have the colors on the side of the thumb.
For the forehand stroke, the index finger will press the racket and the edge of the bottom of your thumb will be under pressure. That's why the bottom of the thumb must have a big color. Another point that I want to emphasize is you should hold the racket so that it can make a straight line with your forearm like this. This is very important. I really love coaching in table tennis. I want to say that table tennis is very technical, so you need to learn table tennis technique in small details. These small details can make you from a good player to become a best player. Do you have a good grip? And how many calluses that you have? Tell me by commenting below. See you, Emrethic.